You've tuned in to the Top 10 Garden Show with garden expert Ken Lane. Join the conversation daily as he answers timely garden questions. Email Ken a question directly from your phone to his desktop through the web at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Or visit face-to-face throughout the week where he can be found at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So each month, uh, I curate a group of plants, companion plants. They look good in that particular month. So we have 12, 12 pallets, 12 sets. And February is kind of a challenge because you're mainly dealing with evergreen stuff because March things start to leaf out and bloom. Your forsythia are in bloom. The winter blooming jasmines are all in color. Daffodils are up. February, you're just on the cusp. You'll start to see some leaf growth on your roses, that kind of thing. Uh, but, but fruit trees are not blooming yet. A lot of lilacs aren't open yet. They've got big buds. They might be cracking, but they aren't in bloom yet. So the palette for February, we focus on Arizona cypress. We've got Austrian pine, this beautiful, it's a, it's like a ponderosa pine, pint-sized. So it gets up to about 35 feet instead of 100 feet, but it holds its foliage right down to the ground. It's gorgeous, long needle, rich green. It's great for screening. So it's really the fastest growing of the pine trees. You've got uh, uh, mint julep juniper. This is a very large juniper. We use it for hedging screen. It's six foot plus size and you cannot kill that thing. It is right. It's just, it's just a tough little plant. Red clusterberry cotoneaster. Now, cotoneaster, this is a big one. So we've got native cotoneasters that grow here. There's a lot of them. Uh, this one is not the native, but it thinks it is. But it's much, much larger. Most of the native ones get up to about hip high to ground covery kind of things. This one's big. And it is robust. It doesn't get disease, elk, uh, deer, antelope. They don't eat it. So it's it's got a taste they don't like. So it's much better in that regard than, let's say, red tip photinia. And they call it red cluster cotoneaster because in the spring, usually in March, it'll burst open with these clusters of, of flowers. And each of those flowers gets a red berry. And it's holding those berries right now. Actually, the, uh, the birds are starting to eat the berries uh, off of that plant. And so they kind of Sometimes they get a little drunk on the on the fermented juice berry, but they it's a it's a bird attractor. It's like a party in your backyard. They just love it. Uh, the one I wanted to talk about there's two. Uh, um, there's a Calgary carpet um, juniper. It's a real low growing ground cover type of juniper that is very pretty, very green. It's really good for a lawn replacement. You know, we all have these rock lawns out there and they're just sterile and dusty. And so you need some low growing kind of ground covery kind of things around that to soften up all of that rock. Uh, Calgary carpet's really good at creeping in between boulders. It takes the heat. There's no bugs that get on it. Rabbits aren't going to eat it. It's just got a lot going on it. Uh, a lot. I've got several rental properties. I like to use ground covered junipers because they're so robust. The tenants don't kill them unless a dog pees on them. You know, Great Dane uses it as his spot. Had that happen once, but no, rare, very rare. And so it grows really, really well. And, and we've got them. It's time to grow. You want to see what they look like now in winter? You come into the nursery, you look and go, yeah, I like that green. I'll take three of them. Let's go. And so they're good at holding in erosion control. Uh, that hillside where the, the, the snow is melting off, you're getting all the ruts coming through. It holds that thing right in. And a Calgary carpet, it, one plant will grow to about six to eight feet wide. It's a good plant for drip systems because one drip emitter will cover this huge six by six area that holds the soil in place. Pretty green, softens up all the heat. It's another negative with AstroTurf. It's pretty. Man, does it get, get it gets so hot in the summer. And so sometimes, sometimes you, you, you put some of these lower growing things around it and it'll, it'll, cool things down some for them. That's where you're creeping cotoneasters, you're creeping junipers. Another companion that goes with Calgary carpet juniper is boxwood. And surprising, the reason I mentioned boxwood, the reason I like boxwoods this time of year, they're a pollinator. So the bees are going to come out as soon as we get some warm days. It looks like we're going in here in the central highlands, this central part of the state. 
uh, we're starting to warm up. So we're going to get 60 degrees this weekend or close to it. And so the bees are going to be out and they're going to be foraging. They're going to be hungry. And so they need something to grab the pollen off and take it back to the hive. And boxwood, surprisingly enough, they're not famous for their blossoms, but the bees love the taste of that flower. It's usually the flowers. This is a nice evergreen, rich, waxy leafed shrub. Gets up about, I don't know, ankle, not ankle, knee high to hip high or so. We use them often in, in like English gardens, that kind of thing. So uh, you kind of borders up to the front of your, your house around the patio. But inside, up and down the stems, it'll start to bloom. And the, the bees just go after that, forage after it. It's got a slight fragrance to it. But if you're into pollinators, you're into attracting uh, the wildlife into your yard, boxwoods are great evergreen color. And then it's a pollinator. Early, early spring. I say rosemary is another one that's like that. It has that real pretty blue flower to it. It's a very early bloomer, so the bees love that right off the bat because there's so little for them to forage for. So encourage, help the bees in your backyard by planting boxwoods, rosemaries, and Calgary carpet juniper. Anyway, we'll be back right after this. Hold, hold on, don't go anywhere. Waters Garden Companion Plants of February are Calgary carpet juniper, lily of the valley, pinion pines, and peony. Your grandmother would fall in love with these larger peony with so many colors to choose from. There's nothing like the enormous flowers to add stunning pops of color. Endearing springtime blooms are more than fragrant with luscious double flowers. Shop the most perennial peonies in Prescott by store or online at watersgardencenter.com. The Top 10 Gardener, your source for timely garden advice, seasonally correct for the garden guaranteed to make a difference in your yard this season. 